Hey, what's going on? Gerard Fairley here. Just want to talk briefly about belief. You know, we've, we, we, we live in a very action-orientated society here, or well, most of the world, you know. We're taught to chase our dreams and go after what you want. Take action. You know, this, it's, it's, this whole, the whole emphasis is always on doing, doing, doing something. And that, you know, that, that's necessary, of course. You know, we have to, you know, uh, cultivate our fields, our crops, our, our, our food, build cars and all those kinds of things. But the person who built, the person who, who, uh, who, who builds the car is not the person who comes up with the idea of the car and how it works. The, the worker does that part. But the person who created the car, how'd that happen? They believed that they could create something to transport man from point A to point B. So it was that belief, and they got into alignment with that belief in the idea of travel, traveling in this manner. And that's inspired the thoughts that came, that created the, the vision or the invention of the car. Same thing with airplane and any other thing. Any other thing that's been created. The highways, the railroad car. It was a thought. It was an idea of someone's mind. How can we do so and so and so? I believe I could do so and so and so. And then all the action that's taken place comes after the fact. But it was created in someone's mind. Someone believed in the idea. And then the idea created a pathway in the terms of an invention. I'm speaking a little cryptically, perhaps. Hopefully you can understand what I'm trying to say. That if you're trying to create something in your life, it's not the action that creates it. It's the belief and the end result that creates it. If you're trying to build a company, trying to find a job, if you're trying to do, if you're trying to uh, travel to Italy or wherever, you don't have the money. Do you go and get five part-time jobs and work and work and work and save four years for that ticket? Or do you just believe that you're going to get there and something happens and a ticket works its way through you in some other kind of way? You could, there's a, any number of ways in which you can get that ticket. It could be given to you. You could uh, be given the money. You could win a sweepstakes. There's so many different ways. But we're taught that to get that ticket, to get to Italy, you have to work. You have to do. You have to. And belief is not important. It's not important. Belief is aligning yourself with the thing that you want to create. It's the belief that creates the path. It's the belief that opens up the way. It's the belief that aligns you with that person that takes you here and there and boom. It's the belief. People can't touch belief, but they can touch action. They know, ah, I can work and get this thing. Yeah, but why can't you believe that you'll get it and it'll find, that thing will find its way to you. We, we, we are, we're, we're taught to chase our dreams and, and go after what you want through action. I'm not saying that you're going to be able to get a degree through just believing about it. But what is the degree? We, you know, we're, we're taught to go to school to get this, this great career. You know, but what if you believed that you could become an engineer without going to school? You, you can't believe that because you've been taught that you have to have a degree from MIT or wherever to get a job as an engineer in Google or wherever other company, you know? You've been taught that. We have been taught that action trumps belief. 
action is the king to get things done, to creating the things we want in our life. And I want to just offer you an alternative. If you believe you want to create something or do something, hold on to the belief and let the thing, the experience, whatever it is, find you. If you're looking for it, it's looking for you. And the belief creates the roadway so that you're not working and spending 80% of your time doing actions that are not going to take you to where you want to go. You want to just focus on that 20% of action or 20% of your efforts with inspired action. Because inspired action that is activated or inspired by your belief creates the roadway that you can travel much quickly than if you don't believe in it and you're doing this, you're doing that, listen to this person, da, 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 and you're working and you do get there eventually, but at what cost? At what expense? How much energy do you spend? How much time do you spend? How much effort do you spend without being in alignment first emotionally and mentally with what you want? That's what belief is. Belief is being in alignment emotionally, mentally with what you want. And once you do that, once you do that, and you bask in your belief for the creation of the thing, that much quicker, that much faster, that much more joyful, that much more fulfilling to you. Isn't that what we want? Isn't that what we want? Not the thing itself. You know that. Yeah, you 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 you'll be happy with the thing once you get it. But it's the journey that's really where the joy is at. And it's not joyful if you're working hard and struggling and you're frustrated and you're angry and you're pulling it. That's not joyful. That's not fulfilling for most. It's tiring. It's exhausting. But when you're in alignment with what you want, everything is exciting. Everything is exciting about that thing. 